Welcome to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. This is episode 203. Are you looking for genealogical projects to do for November? Consider these 10 seasonal gems to get your creative genealogy energy going. You'll have a ball. Cook up a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. Choose a generation of your family in America. It could be any generation from the first ones who came in the 1600s to the generation of your grandparents. Research what that generation typically ate for Thanksgiving dinner. Look at old cookbooks if you need to. Then prepare a fabulous feast from the past for your family. Be sure to explain what generation ate the meal and why each dish was served during the old times. If you really want to take the traditional Thanksgiving theme a step farther, costume up. Research what types of clothing the generation your meal represents wore. Then, make outfits for everyone to keep with the theme of that generation. Sometimes, special clothes were worn for Thanksgiving, while other times it was everyday wear. Make sure you get it right, and it will be just like a Thanksgiving out of the past come back to life. Your family will love it. It's like time travel at the Thanksgiving table. Put together a Thanksgiving photo album. Gather together photos of your family celebrating Thanksgiving, going back as many years as you have photos. If you have photos going back generations, this is even better. Put them all in an album and share it with everyone at dinner. Or make copies of the photos, buy individual albums, and give them as gifts. Work on another chapter of your family history book. Each month, you should write another chapter in your family history book. Take the whole month to write it. Eventually, your book will be done, and probably before you know it. Once you've completed one book on one family line, start on another one. Begin a new line of research. With the days getting shorter and the weather getting colder, it is a perfect time to stay indoors and start working on a new family line you have previously neglected. Get to know some new ancestors this month. They'll be glad to meet you. Volunteer at a school. Teachers often like to do special things before the holidays. Volunteer at your child's school or at a local college to talk about the history of your town, old Thanksgiving traditions, or the genealogy of your own family and how the students can trace their own. Work on those Lineage Society papers. Now is the time to work on Lineage Society papers you may have been neglecting. Get them finished and get your membership approved. Read a new genealogy book. Colder weather and more time indoors makes it the perfect time to read another genealogy book or magazine and increase your research skills. Volunteer at a local archives or museum. Archives and museums often need volunteers. Start during the holiday season while the crowds are small, so you can learn all you need to know to be a good guide. You'll probably get plenty of time to use the collections for your own research while you're there, and you'll enjoy teaching others about local history. Visit elderly relatives. The holidays are the perfect time to visit elderly relatives you may not have seen in a while. During your visit, Ask them about Thanksgiving traditions and memories from their childhoods, and get their stories on audio recording. Transcribe the stories when you get home and add them to your family history for a richer story everyone will enjoy reading. Are you a beginning genealogist? In the next episode, I show you how to make your research shine by avoiding eight common beginning genealogy mistakes. Copyright by Ancestral Findings. All rights reserved.